Analyze simulation results. In this video, we'll solve a simulation and we'll review simulation results. In Fusion 360, we want to carry on with our generative frame outcome one, make sure that we're still in the simulation workspace. We have everything we need to solve our simulation study, so we're going to select Solve. And note that a static stress simulation study can be solved on the cloud or it can be solved locally. If you solve yours on the cloud, it will require five cloud credits. Note that locally we'll use your system resources, which could make it more difficult to complete other tasks. I'm going to solve mine on the cloud and we'll check back in as soon as we have results. Now that the results are finished, let's go ahead and close the job status and take a look. We can see that the actual minimum safety factor is 0.64, and we can close the results details and take a look at the model. We can see that the vast majority of the model is blue, which means that it's at least over six, but there is one area of concern up near the steering stem. Now this is obviously a problem because the way that the geometry was created, we don't really have an ideal connection to the frame, and this really needs to come from this intersection point all the way up to the top of the stem on both sides. Having the simulation study really just highlights that. We can also take a look at things like the stress distribution, we can look at displacement, reaction forces, and strain. But the two things that I'm most interested in are going to be the safety factor as well as the von Mises stress. Once again, when we take a look at this, you can see that we have a lot of stress concentration right in this area. So in order for this frame to really work, we need to do our part to make those design changes and actually blend this section up into the top of the frame. Once again, that does take quite a bit of work and it is going to be important if this frame was going to be used. However, another option is for us to go back to the generative design setup and adjust our starting shape so that it included more area or more geometry to get a better result. It is interesting to note that we have multiple load cases. If we take a look at the static load case and we look at the safety factor, you can see here that the minimum is 0.577 and that happens at a very specific spot. Once again, there's a hard interface here. That's not really something that we're too concerned about. It's likely just the way that our load cases were defined. But if we move on to the next load case, torsion, twisting in that direction, twisting back the other way, and then ultimately looking at braking, we can see that those other three load cases are all focusing their attention on the steering stem area. So if I was gonna work with this frame a little bit more, I would go back to the drawing board and I would redo the entire front area on how this frame connects to the stem, and I would do that manually, and I would use some symmetry, so I only had to do it on one side. But again, the form tools are a little bit outside of what we're going to cover in terms of modifying this frame. We just really want to understand the process of setting up that generative design study, picking the best outcome for our design, and then validating that through simulation in Fusion 360. At this point, let's make sure that we do save this design. And I am gonna navigate back to the design workspace. And then I also wanna make sure that I do update the assembly. While no geometry changed, we did add a simulation study to that original frame. So it is important that we do update the design everywhere and then we'll say okay and move on to the next step. 